Hello everybody, my name is Rahul and in this video we'll be attempting a room called Valley. This is in particular a very interesting room because you'll be learning a lot through this room, be it a bit of Wireshark, a bit of FTP, a bit of reverse engineering and almost everything. So and even in the, in the end we'll be looking at a simple privilege escalation as well. So stay till the end, uh, I'm definitely sure that this will add to your arsenal. So. First of all, what we can try to do is we can attempt to perform a rust scan. Now, the reason I perform rust scan is because it is comparatively faster as compared to a uh, map scan. And then when you have all the ports open, you can try to see or uh, you can run n map on those ports. So, for example, I'll now run n map tag SC tag SV tag P 2280 and 37037 followed by I'm sorry about that 37 370 followed by the IP address and let's let it do its work meanwhile what we can do is we can navigate to the site because we know that port 80 is open clicking on the buttons uh, you see there's nothing fancy uh, you can click on return home if I type in or press control U you'll see that uh, there's nothing fancy in here nothing in particular so what we can try to do is as you can see the port scan is back and 37370 is an FTP and port 80 is HTTP that we already knew so what we can try to do is 37370 so what I'm doing is I'm running FTP followed by the IP address and the name and the port on which it is actually is so uh, it will automatically populate um, the name um, but for this we do not know the name let's give it blank mm, it says login failed uh, what we can try to do is again type in user and type in username as anonymous and password as an again anonymous because many a times anonymous login is allowed but as you can see it failed so what we can do is go buster dir tag u let's run common.txt with 30 threads and here we go meanwhile what we can do is keep pressing on the buttons and here we see directly listing enabled and we have node.txt it says please stop leaving nodes randomly on the website so uh, my guess is and what it what actually was that there will be a random node so let's just navigate to gallery now because that is one of the directories and as you can see it ha also has gallery.html which we have already visited nothing fancy so there's one thing called stat there's one more uh, directory called static and if you navigate to this we do not get anything so directory listing might not be enabled but we do know for a fact that there is in fact something here how do I know as you can see static slash one gives you uh, a picture so what I can do is I can type in slash static and let it do its magic and as you can see something pops out there is a double zero so let us just go to static slash double zero and here we see that dev nodes from valley dev and I'm, gu I'm guessing that this is the username add wedding photos and remove this particular directory so let's just try to navigate to this particular directory and here we see a fancy login page so what you can try to do is admin admin it says invalid username and or password so you can try either brute forcing but what I'm going to do is pressing in control U if you are on Windows and command U if you are on Mac and try to look through any sensitive thing that I can find in the source code or HTML source code. Let's go through dev.js. We have the information for the form. And here it says if the username length is less than 5, username should be invalid, is invalid. If the password length is less than 7, it says password is invalid. And we see something here, which is semdev and California. So we have the username and password. And if you do remember, what we got here is it says um, add wedding photo examples okay uh, so what we can do is navigate to this site which we got from here and it says dev nodes for FTP server 
stop reusing the credentials. So the credentials could be these. So the way to check it is again go to FTP same dev California and we have login successful and here you can see that we have three files that have been listed out so I'm guessing that this is your way to get into SSH or to SSH into this box or to the room so how do we get all these files the way to get all the either you can type in get followed by the name of the file or you can type in mget mget followed by asterisk dot pcapng so when you type in mget uh, asterisk this will work and what you can do this will all get downloaded but there is an issue with this so whenever you type in ls what happens is it the format changes to ascii so first of all you will need to type in binary because these are binary files right at the end so once you have switched into binary mode you will be able to download these files as it is so what I did earlier was I typed just typed in ls and what this ls does is it changes the mode and I was when I was trying to download it uh, I couldn't download the entire files completely and there was a lot of issue so all you need to do is type in binary and then either use get or mget to download it so since I've already downloaded I'll show you the files which is this 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 and let's just remove uh, valley authenticator for now because that's quite interesting and I'll show it to you right away so we have three files which is cm http1 http2 and ftp I won't be wasting much of your time so let's just move on to http2 and just type right click follow okay let's just look for tcp traffic because this is just dns and qic traffic which we are not quite interested in and this is up uh, to be frank encrypted uh, so you'll not be able to see anything or you'll not be able to make anything out of it let's hope to find any TCP traffic yeah there we go we have HTTP and TCP traffic and let's just follow TCP stream uh, let's just try to move ahead and here you see you see the host here and you see the uname and the password so validev is going to be the uh, username yes and let's just look at the password which is photos1234 and here we are so we have logged into the room so let's just type in ls and we have the user.txt file now how do we escalate further so nothing interesting here if you see we have three uh, we have two more directories semdev and valley um, I'm guessing that the credentials for semdev would be the same so let's just try to do in semdev okay sorry about that and the password would be California and if you you see there is an FTP directory so the reason I'm not trying to stress a lot into it because I have solved till here and there's nothing much interesting going on so let's just try to exit but if you see here there is an interesting file called valley authenticator so let's just try to run it as you can see it has we have the executable permissions so uh, valley authenticator so what it does is it asks for a username let's just type in value 1234 or whatever it is and it will say you wrong username or password so so what we can try to do is either we can make use of certain tools like strace and ltrace to see if it is actually comparing our provided username and password with a hard-coded value or what we can try to do is uh, try to reverse engineer it so python tag m http dot server uh, what I've done is I have opened up a Python server and what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this uh, I'm going to download this file to my local machine and try to reverse engineer it and why I'm telling you to reverse engineer you'll be uh, you'll understand in a minute so valley authenticator is a 
elf executable file so if I type in strings value authenticator less you'll see that the, the file is quite big and it is really big but if you see here it is UPX written right here so what UPS does is it tries to compress your binary uh, so this in this way you will not be able to directly reverse engineer your files so what you can try to do is you can download it UPX type in tash D and followed by the name of the uh, file and here you can see it says unpacked one file so now you will be able to make more sense out of this file so let's just type in strings valley less now that we have the unpackaged file what we can do is we can go through it now you remember you might remember that being compressed it was quite big and if we try to uncompress it the size will be much greater in size so what we can try to do is we can use some regex or we can look for hard coded words so that we can get to that part of the file which looks juicy or which might definitely prove uh, helpful to us so what I'm going to do is uh, since when we run this binary it asked for us for a username so let's just look for username and here it says what is your username and just before that you can see that there are two uh, hex or hex encoded or two hashes so what we can do is let's just go for crackstation.net and let's just try to paste these both and here we see so we have th these were md5 hashes and these correspond to valley and liberty 123 so we know for a fact that valley is a user here so if you see here let's just go to home and here we have we have valley so let's just try to navigate to or let's just so into uh, valley and here we go so we are into valley now what can we do let's just see so again what we can try to do here is uh, we can look for certain files let's just type in sudo tag l to see if we have any permissions on any binary which we can run as sudo but here we, as you can see we do not all right so one more thing that you can try to do is find type f so here what we are trying to do is we are trying to look for any binary which has the set UID bit set now if we are to able to find any binary which has set UID bit set we can run it as sudo but here as you can see these are just the normal files and will not be able to make much use of it so this option is also gone next thing that we can try to do is cat etc cron tab and here we see we have a file called photos script photos encrypt.py which is running as root uh, so let's just wait and let's just see what the file is cat photos script photos encrypt.py and here you can see that it is using python 3 base 64 as a package and I don't think we can it, it is just accepting any photo in the photos directory and it is just trying to play with it so what can you do here first of all if you can see that if you can change Python 3 to uh, because Python 3 might be writable or you can also see if base 64 is also writable so uh, let's just see or try to locate base 64 and we have a lot of base 64s so we have it here let's just see if this is writable and here you can see it is writable so to both the users so let's just try to write a nano user lib Python 3.8 base64.py and we have it here so what we can also do is import OS OS dot system and payload 
all the things and we need a reverse shell let's look for a reverse shell that might work for us uh, I think this could work okay so here we go and we'll be replacing this with ifconfig grep10 we'll be replacing this with our own IP address and let's just see Cool. this should work and first of all let's also, let's also tag l 4242 let's set up a listener on it because this port will be listening on and we have it here so at this point of time what we have to do is we just have to wait for a connection and cron tab let's just wait for the listener to come back to us or let, let's just wait for it to connect back to us and here we see that we finally have a connection so who am I root ls lps and let we have the root dot text file as well so thank you guys I think that I hope that this was of some use to you please uh, comment in this uh, comment please feel free to comment in the comment section what you liked about this video and if there are any videos that you would like me to make a video on thank you